All right, morning everybody, I'm Ed Cruz. This is the last lesson. This is, I don't even think I said the episode last time. Whatever. So this episode 40, and this is set development on um, footwork. So I think so far with the videos I've done so far, I've, I've talked about the stance, um, and then I talked about the shift, and then the variations of the shift from 45 to chunk Q, the BG level of turning. Then I talked about the each individual footwork, uh, uh, each individual footwork that you need to uh, practice. And I think I also showed, not in conjunction though, um, the core footwork in pattern and the full footwork, all 15 footwork uh, together. So what is that, uh, nine and then uh, 15, and, and then broke it down. So here I have set development uh, ways before we get to the end goal, which is basically the freestyle footwork. Set development footwork is basically a simple pattern, three-step pattern, for the most part, I believe it's a three-step pattern, uh, working on certain concepts and ideas that you want to practice when you're uh, do, dealing with footwork. So this set pattern, I'm not going to show all of them right away. I'm going to show one at a time um, per video. Otherwise, it might be too confusing for people to grasp. So this, this development is basically from here, you have three angle steps, right? Three angle is the bigger step, the, the running man step. So from here, I'm going to start all the way back right from the end. I'm making my adjustment, circling, maintaining my center of gravity. I take that forward step. And then from here, I'm gonna have the circle step, and then circle step, and then I'm done. Three patterns, right? Or three footworks, right? So in essence, it basically looks like this. One, two, three, right? So you see circle, circle, circle. Development-wise, right, what you're doing is, you're taking, this is running, I wanna close the gap, this is how I'm running towards it to close the gap. But development-wise, you're basically doing the, you're doing it so you learn how to control your center of gravity from bigger steps, okay? So, two things I wanna point out, two things I wanna make sure people understand, hopefully I remember these two things, is one, it is a continuous footwork motion. I'm breaking it down, so when I break it down, it looks like this, one, circle, three angle step, two, circle step, three, circle step, three footwork. That's break down, right? When you actually practice it, it doesn't have to be super fast, but you want to make it one continuous motion. So when you practice it, it's like this, three angle step, one, two, three, right? Continuous, continuous motion. I'm not breaking down. You, if you have to break it down, then guess what? You, have, you, should, you need to practice a little more before. Uh, that means you just don't have the control of your center of gravity then. It's kind of like, uh, I want to ride a bike, but I'm going to break it down to one pedal, stop, one pedal, stop. You can't, you just don't have the skill yet to do it. So go back to the drawing board, whatever step prior was that that you work, need to work on, get that to work, then you can jump into this set development skill. So three angle step, circle, 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 okay? Circle, 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 make a continuous motion when you're practicing this. And this is basically how, how, how one closes the gap. Now don't, mis don't misinterpret this. Closing the gap is he's, he's over there and I'm over here and there's no threat at all. I'm not gonna run 30 feet to close the gap, okay? Then you, you, you're just not. Let's call it anatomy, but we're not gonna close the gap in, in, the, in that manner, right? This is just a development drill, control your center of gravity for bigger steps. Um, the second thing, the more important thing, development application, we always talk about development and application and remember, right? In development when I do this circle, one, two, three, Right? I'm developing something, taking bigger steps, controlling my center of gravity. Application-wise, if you look like this, when you're closing the gap on somebody, you're an idiot, right? Or you're making a lot of money and doing Yip Man videos and being paid well. Okay, visually I can understand why you do that, okay? Visually I can understand why you do that. But no, you'll never do that in a real fight situation. You'll never do circling steps. You'll never be in guard planting your hands like this. And you won't go one, two, I'm gonna close the gap. Closing the gap, um, right? Expect, uh, expectation is this, right? Or whatever, exactly. You know how you always have those videos? Expectation, reality is if you look like this, this is a no-no. Oh, shoot, this power mode. Uh, hopefully I'm still on. Okay, still on. So, uh, what, what was I trying to say? So. In reality, uh, expectation was circle, 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 and like, bam, I look cool. Reality is you do circle, 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 you're gonna get the knock the fuck off. Okay, that's just the reality of it. So development, taking big steps, controlling your center of gravity, having that circular step motion is what you're learning and working on um, doing. Reality, if I wanna close the gap, I'm closing the gap. Look how I just normally close the gap because the practice, the skill that you did allows you to take that bigger step and control your center of gravity. You're doing that circular motion already 
It's just not so evident and obvious when you dictate that stuff. So just make sure you're clear on why you're doing it and understand what the set development is. Three angle step, right? Get back here, three angle step. You use three angle right there, and then you have a circle, and you have a circle, okay? And then when I when I want to apply it and, uh, and uh, practice it, continue motion, one, two, three, right? Notice when I control it, if, if I didn't have that practice of the bigger step, it would look like this. If I didn't do the three angle step, one, two, three, right? You gotta take the bigger step, and here. But if you have your center of gravity in place, and do three angle step, one, two, three. Right? See how I'm in circle, 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 take the bigger step, and then the application, one, two, three. <laughs> right? You're just, you're just different, development application, okay? So that's the first step of the, um, of, of the set development. I'll show the other ones in upcoming videos, um, but for now, go practice.